Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line. Today's topic is related versus unrelated mating envelopes. So today's question is what are the unrelated actual mating envelopes and the related actual mating envelopes? So let's just take a quick look at this drawing here and identify where we might utilize these two separate envelopes. Now, from a high level, the related actual mating envelope is an envelope that represents a feature of size. That might be a cylindrical feature of size or a width feature of size, but for this example, we're gonna picture a cylindrical feature of size. So the related actual mating envelope is truly that. It's an envelope that represents this feature. In this case, it's the ID. It's the envelope that represents that feature related to any datums, right? So related to any datums previously. Uh, so in the case of this call out here, we're going to utilize the related and unrelated actual mating envelopes to assess this feature. Uh, we're going to use the related actual mating envelope to give us the datum axis for datum feature B. So again, datum simulator for A is going to be a flat planar surface since we have a flat plane being identified as our primary datum. So again, our datum simulator could be a granite table, something that's perfectly flat. But as we know, datums are always perfectly perpendicular to each other. So datum A is perpendicular to datum B. And so in order to obtain an axis from a feature that is definitely not going to be perpendicular to our primary datum plane, we need to create an envelope that is perpendicular. So imagine this cylindrical envelope growing out in size. It's gonna expand inside this feature, but this envelope's going to remain perpendicular to datum plane A, perpendicular to any primary or higher precedent datums. Then that envelope, as it's oriented to A, again, perpendicular, is our related actual mating envelope. And the axis of that envelope is our datum axis. So the related actual mating envelope is utilized to simulate secondary or tertiary datums. In this scenario, it's being utilized to simulate the secondary datum. Now on the other side, for this feature control frame right here, we're checking the perpendicularity of our feature to 10 thousandths diametrically with respect to A. Well, if we were to check this axis and its perpendicularity with respect to A using the related actual mating envelope, we would see we have perfect perpendicularity every time using this axis. So in order to actually check a feature, we need to create the feature's axis. In order to do that, we use the unrelated actual mating envelope. This is an envelope that expands inside the cylinder and adheres to any orientation or location error that that feature might have. So it's going to expand inside that cylinder and rattle around until it settles out on the radial high points. For those of you that are in the inspection world, this looks a lot like a best fit gauge pin. So in the CMM world, this is gonna be the maximum inscribed cylinder. So if there is any form error, it's going to sit on the high points of that form error, and it's going to adhere to any orientation or location error that cylinder does have. Now the axis of that perfect cylinder that expanded inside this feature, the axis of that perfect cylinder is going to be our features axis. Now we can use this axis in this tolerance zone right here to check our perpendicularity. This orientation error of this axis represents both perpendicularity and position error if we were controlling the position of this feature. So again, the RAME, is used to simulate lower precedent datums. It's oriented to higher precedent datums, right? It's related to other datums. The unrelated actual mating envelope is utilized to give us the central elements of our feature, in this case, the axis of our ID. So again, hopefully this answers your question uh, and adds some clarity to the differences between the related and the unrelated actual mating envelopes, uh, and when do you use either? And thanks again for submitting your question. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes.
download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.